Welcome to today's video on the biological properties of soil. Soil is not just a mixture of minerals, water and air. It's a living, breathing ecosystem filled with organisms that work together to sustain life. These biological properties are what make soil a dynamic and active system. In this video, we'll explore the different types of organisms living in soil, their roles and how they contribute to soil health and plant growth. Let's start with soil microorganisms, the smallest but most abundant life forms in soil. These include bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and actinomycetes. Despite their tiny size, they play a huge role in breaking down organic matter, cycling nutrients, and improving soil structure. Bacteria are the primary decomposers in soil. They break down complex organic materials like dead plants and animals into simpler compounds, releasing essential nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur back into the soil. Without bacteria, the soil would lack the nutrients necessary for plant growth. Fungi, especially mycorrhizal fungi, form symbiotic relationships with plant roots. They extend their network of hyphae far into the soil increasing the surface area for water and nutrient absorption. In return, the plant provides the fungi with sugars and other nutrients produced through photosynthesis. This partnership enhances the plant's ability to access nutrients like phosphorus and water, promoting healthier and more resilient growth. Next, we have soil fauna, the larger organisms that you can see with the naked eye. These include earthworms, ants, beetles, and other soil-dwelling insects. They are often referred to as soil engineers because of their role in modifying the soil environment. Earthworms, for example, burrow through the soil, creating channels that improve soil aeration and water infiltration. Their activity mixes the soil layers, distributing nutrients and enhancing the soil's structure. Ants and other insects contribute by breaking down organic matter, aerating the soil, and transporting nutrients. These actions help create a porous soil structure that supports root growth and microbial activity. Organic matter, made up of decomposed plant and animal material, is the foundation of biological activity in soil. As organic matter breaks down, it forms humus, a stable, nutrient-rich material that improves soil fertility and structure. Humus binds soil particles together, forming aggregates that increase porosity and reduce compaction. It also acts like a sponge, holding water and nutrients that plants can access during periods of drought. Soils with high organic matter content are more fertile, have better structure, and support a greater diversity of soil organisms. Soil respiration is a process where soil organisms break down organic matter, releasing carbon dioxide, CO2, back into the atmosphere. This process is part of the global carbon cycle, linking soil health to broader environmental processes. Plants absorb CO2 during photosynthesis and store it in their tissues. When plants die and decompose, this carbon is transferred to the soil where microorganisms break it down, releasing CO2. Healthy soils with active biological properties sequester carbon, reducing atmospheric CO2 levels and mitigating climate change. The diversity and abundance of soil organisms are key indicators of soil health. Soils with a variety of microorganisms, earthworms and other fauna are considered healthy and productive. On the other hand, soils lacking biological activity often have poor structure, low fertility, and limited resilience. By monitoring biological properties like microbial biomass, earthworm activity, and organic matter levels, we can assess soil health and take steps to improve it through practices like adding compost, reducing tillage, and promoting crop diversity. The biological properties of soil are what make it a living, dynamic system. Soil microorganisms, fauna, and organic matter work together to decompose materials, cycle nutrients, and maintain soil structure. 
By understanding and supporting these biological processes, we can improve soil health, enhance plant growth, and promote sustainable agriculture. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the biological properties of soil. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel for more content on soil health and sustainable practices. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.